today we're making red cooked spare ribs. I've taken uh, one slab of spare ribs, had the butcher cut it in half, and I've taken the membranes off and just cut it into uh, portions. If they're pretty meaty, I just cut one rib. If they're not as meaty, I just use uh, two bones. Uh, what attracted me to this recipe is the use of sugar that we're going to caramelize in oil. Other ingredients include a star anise, a called for cinnamon stick, but I only had ground cinnamon, ginger, garlic, green onion, and we're going to finish it off with soy sauce, sugar, and salt to taste. The first step in this recipe calls for caramelizing sugar. The original recipe called for uh, white sugar, but I figured I'll use brown for the extra flavor you get from brown sugar. So we're going to melt and caramelize the brown sugar in two tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of oil. Alright, the sugar is melted. I'm just going to let it brown a little, let it caramelize a little more. After which I'm going to add quickly add the uh, aromatics, the uh, ginger, garlic, and green onion. Just to release some of the flavors. Next the ribs are added. Finally, the uh, sinus and cinnamon is added. Add enough water to barely cover, about uh, three cups. Bring to a boil. Cover and reduce to a simmer. Pork's been simmering about uh, 35 minutes. I'm going to reduce the, or take off the lid and increase the heat to let some of the water evaporate. Okay, the liquid's been reducing about 10 minutes. I'm going to add a splash of soy sauce, about a tablespoon. Pork is uh, removed, and the juice is allowed to reduce until thickens. 